Finished up another banjo. Uh, this one is for a guy in North Carolina. Uh, he wanted a coal peg head shape uh, with a man in the moon motif out of Mother of Pearl. Uh, it's an ebony peg head overlay, bone nut, brass overlay, semi fretless. The frets five through seven. The brass overlay helps you get more of a liquidy smooth uh, slide if you like that uh, fretless sound. Um, old, very old timey. Um, Here's the back of the peg head. Um, that fits your hand at the first position. Uh, the stain I use adds uh, a bit of a patina, kind of an aged, uh, antique -y look. Here's the uh, Dobson heel here. Uh, again, an ebony uh, fingerboard, as well as an ebony uh, rim cap here. So you can see there's some figure in the maple that I used. Um, so uh, brass hardware, throughout. Uh, it's been aged by hand. Uh, here's a has a goat skin head uh, that I uh, stained and mounted myself on an 11 inch rim. It uh, has a uh, uh, Pisca Hawkeye tailpiece that adds downward pressure on the strings uh, versus the bridge. Helps add volume. Um, and then here's the inside of it. So you can see uh, Quail Creek banjos um, and some additional brass hardware, and that's that's it. And here she is. It's a Dobson tone ring, so it helps add volume and some sparkle. I guess is how I would refer to it. Here, here it is. sad to see this one go.